Good morning, it's sunny and it's one week until Chicago Marathon. I'm definitely feeling quite excited about it, but also quite nervous. I mean, they're all good feelings. I just can't wait to get there and actually run the marathon. So today I'm running my last long run, which is only 13K. And I've started my taper, so everything's kind of reduced in terms of distance and intensity. And I still feel good. And yeah, I just can't wait to get there. Just need to get through uh, four more days at work and then I'll be flying to Chicago on Friday. I've also started a list of things that I want to bring and things I want to take. I'm trying to kind of gauge what the temperature will be when I'm over there. Everyone says Chicago is very windy, but for me it's more like if it's going to actually be hot. Um, I think it's going to be warmer than it will be here in the UK. So I'll probably take shorts and short sleeves. Um, and also my Asics Nova Blast 4, which I've been training in and I've been really loving them as well. So yeah, I'm hoping to get another pair at some point. Um, but usually around this time of the year, they kind of come up with a new model. So there might be a Nova Blast 5 soon, we don't know. But I do need another pair to kind of rotate and switch around because I have run in these um, quite a lot, done a lot of miles in them already. So a new pair will be good. I'm actually going to Hong Kong for holiday this year in November so I'm hoping to find something over there because it is so much cheaper. My parents got me in the Nova Blast 3 TR and um, it was full price in Hong Kong and at the time they just came out and it worked out to be about £50 cheaper than it is here in the UK so if I can find something over there that would be great. just saves a lot of money but we shall see. I look forward to go shopping in Hong Kong. The fueling strategy that I've been trying out during training has really worked for me so I'll stick with that on marathon race day. I'll just have to try and fit everything into the running belt that I've been testing out and it's been working out really well. I was a bit worried because um, as some of you might know Chicago doesn't allow hydration vests so I've been trying to find a belt that works and able to fit everything and not rise up like all the other ones um, but this one has been really good. This is the Camelback Ultra belt and yeah I'm so happy that it works. I mean it's still very limited in what I can carry um, so hopefully it'll be okay but it should be. Um, I've been testing it on long runs so it should be okay. It was quite cold when I left this morning so I'm wearing long sleeves and now I kind of regret it because I'm quite warm now with the sun out and I've actually warmed up. Today's run is 4k comfortable and 4.5k 730 minute per kilometer which is my marathon pace which is also my comfortable pace because even during my comfortable pace I was still doing 730 and it feels good and then the rest is back to comfortable again so uh, which adds up to 13k today um, so I'm doing a six six and a half kilometer out no six and a half back uh, so that should be quite easy quite straightforward and pretty much the whole way is just comfortable <laughs> so I'm enjoying it so far so I've got to halfway and then turned around um, I'm just really <laughs> enjoying the run um, I feel good uh, in terms of injuries um, my right foot isn't quite okay still like it's not bad but that was something that was really painful when I was training for my first marathon to the point where I just couldn't even walk um, when I was out running or during training so my foot has actually been okay but I can definitely still feel something that isn't quite normal um, because obviously I don't have that on my left foot at all. Hopefully it's something I could get sorted or looked at or just understand what it is. Uh, I, just, I just don't know. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is um, a lot of running shoes don't have a lot of room for your toes to kind of spread out and I find I have that problem with pretty much all running shoes and I think the only ones that do have a lot of room in the toe box is uh, shoes that are like zero or like bare feet shoes barefoot shoes <laughs> um, but I don't like the idea of zero drop running shoes um, so that's the only thing I can think of it's because it's a bit too narrow for my toes to spread out and it's just causing the foot pain um, as a possibility this time around um, I, my IT band and knee <laughs> have been fine <laughs> touch wood I've not been experiencing pain like I have last time I was training for marathon and I think that's due to uh, going to the gym and actually focusing on strength workouts quite a lot. I think it really made a big difference focusing on single leg workouts, um, strengthening my quads and my glutes. Um, I think, I, I honestly think it just, that was it. 
it <laughs> because I wasn't doing strength training last time and that really just uh, got caused the injuries and all the pains so definitely <laughs> include strength workout if you're training for a marathon and you don't want to get injured. I also think uh, picking a different training plan has made a big difference as well. I use a runner app to help me train. Um, so uh, this time I picked 20 weeks instead of 16 weeks. And I also picked a plan that's less aggressive than the first one. Um, the first time I picked one that was probably a little bit too much um, for a beginner. But that's down to being inexperienced because I've never trained for marathon before. And they usually have four options. I picked the one that said I can regularly run 10k which I thought I could so that should be fine um, but I think it increased the distance the long run distances too quickly and so there'll be like three weeks in a row where I'll be running 25k 30k and then 34k stuff something like that not giving myself enough time to rest or build up the distance um, plus I didn't do strength training and everything it just yeah was a bit too aggressive for being a beginner marathon runner so on the runner app, I think there's four options to choose from. So there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and I think the fourth one is, is either elite or expert or something like that. Um, so obviously I didn't pick that one. So the one that said I can regularly run 10K was advanced. So last time I picked advanced and that's when everything kind of <laughs> went quite badly. Um, this time I picked intermediate. So we're building up the distance slower and there are less long runs in the training plan. Um, and I think that's why I still feel really good at this point and not injured is because I'm doing it slower this time and giving myself more time to recover and just not run such long distances back to back and sort of every weekend run these crazy distances. I've also really tried to include um, protein in my diet maybe about halfway through um, training this time I really made kind of more of a conscious effort to include protein with every meal um, I don't eat meat so it's sometimes a bit harder for me to always have enough protein but I've been trying to include protein in every meal when I can or have other foods or drinks that are high in protein like protein shakes and protein brownies and things like that so maybe that's helped too my last long run before Chicago done I felt good the whole run was very enjoyable I was running a little bit faster than what I was supposed to be running but that's okay I felt comfortable and I was meant to be running most of it at a comfortable pace so I did I feel good um, yeah so uh, it's next week I can't believe it's gone really fast um, I'm very excited but also nervous <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, thank you for the, those of you who followed me along so far. Hopefully you'll come along to Chicago with me. I'll be taking you with me. Hopefully you'll yeah, come and join me and see how I get on in Chicago as a very slow runner. Um, but yeah, it's gone well and I'm just yeah, very excited. So now I we'll just have to <laughs> get everything ready, prepare. Like I said earlier, get through work, uh, four more days at work. I could finally head towards America. Exciting! <laughs> My name's Uni, thank you so much for watching. I will speak to you very soon and see you soon too. Bye!